If you're looking for the best saltwater bay casting reels, here's a list you must see. We made this list based on our personal preference and sorted it based on their features, prices, quality, durability, and reputation of the manufacturers and customer feedback. Also, we've included options for every type of customer. So let's get started. At the first position of our list, we have Cast King Rover Round Bay Casting Reel. Nothing beats a round bay casting reel. And the Rover, by Cast King, is arguably one of the best. It is affordable and packs a lot of value for your money. First, there are six models available. Each one has a unique IPT, drag, gear ratio, line capacity, and bearings combination. The larger round bay casting reels hold more yards of lines, more drag, fewer ball bearings, lower gear ratio, and it. Thus, they are more suitable for large fish or trolling over saltwater. Apart from that, all rover models have the same construction. All metal body, thick anodized aluminum plates, CNC machined aluminum spool, alloy level wind, stainless steel shafts, brass gears. Depending on the model, the symbol drag washers yield up to 30 pounds enough power to reel any giants. There's one thing to be aware of. The Cast King Rover is not easy to cast with. Plus, it is not as smooth as its low-profile counterparts. However, keep in mind that round bait casting reels are suitable for other purposes. Moving on to the next at number two with Shimano SLX bait casting reels. Shimano fishing gear is of top quality. They hardly ever disappoint. Sadly, the price is often the biggest drawback. However, this time, the SLX bait casting reel sits around 100 bucks. It is not the cheapest, but is not the most expensive either. Thankfully, you will be getting a lot in return for your money. First, the full hack and body minimize flex to a minimum, thus transforming all your movement into cranking power. The Shimano SLX will face no trouble landing massive fish. Lastly, the metallic body also means that SLX can cope with the elements without breaking a sweat. The bait casting reel is also amazing on the inside. The super free spool technology virtually eliminates friction between the spool and main shaft during a cast. Plus, the braking system uses centrifugal force instead of magnets. The weights lead forward as you cast, thus applying pressure to the spool at the beginning of the cast. The drag, on the other hand, is not that impressive. It does get the job done, but it only delivers up to 12, which is not the best value we've seen thus far. So. It might take some extra skills to land aggressive fish. In short, the SLX almost cast by itself. So, no matter if you are a seasoned angler or not, using this reel is as easy as it can be. The number three position is held by Cast King Capstan Elite Saltwater Bait Casting Reel. The Capstan Elite is not as affordable as other options from the brand. However, it packs lots of premium features that are worth that extra bucks. First, you get to enjoy a triple disc carbon fiber system that grants up to 35 pounds of power. That's plenty of power for stripers, ref fish, and similar interest spices. The 5.4 one gear ratio, 26 IPT, and 5.1 inch aluminum handle provide enough torque for reeling big game fish. The capstan is ideal for working heavy jigs and similar lures. The aluminum spool needs no backing and holds up to 230 yards of a 14 pound monofilament. Thus, the capstan is also suitable for trolling. The strike alert will advise you when the fish gets hooked. The eight double shielded bearings transfer power from one place to another in an almost frictionless way. The manganese brass main and pinion gear and the stainless steel main shaft also play a major role. They decrease play between the handle and the spool, thus efficiently using all the power you place in the reel. Next at number four, we have cast King Royal Legend Roman II. Cast King will always be a suitable choice for those looking to get the best value for their money. Let's take some time to talk about the second generation of the Legend Bay Casting Reels. First, it has a graphite body, which might not be the best for larger fish, but we couldn't notice any flex. They also made the Legend Roman 2.5% smaller than the previous generation. The result is a compact and light reel, weighing just 7.2 ounces. Internally, we find a stainless steel main shaft, and my machine brass gear and double bearings. On the other hand, the drag system comprises four carbon drag washers. The system can deliver up to 17.6 pounds of stopping power. Plus, the 10 level adjustable drag allows you to set the drag precisely. There are fewer chances of backlashes, thanks to the eight magnet braking system. Plus, the ceramic line guides help with friction reduction. 
While casting is smooth, it still falls short compared with much more expensive reels. Line capacity is another issue we found. The CNC aluminum spool only handles around 130 yards of a 10-pound test monofilament fishing line. While it is enough for the average angler, it is not for large saltwater fish. The number five position is held by Pisifun Alajaz baitcasting reels. With an aluminum frame, the Alajaz Pisifun baitcasting makes its way into this best baitcasting reels for view. It is expensive, yes, but its construction and performance are worth it. The Alajaz saltwater baitcasting reel boasts a hemi cut brass gear. The hardening process made it stronger than other similar gear. Plus, the stainless steel double shielded ball bearings keep things running smoothly. On the other hand, the anti-reverse bearing grants additional stability to the brass main and pinion gears. The aluminum spool houses up to 190 of a 15 pound test monofilament line, but you can boost capacity if you use braided lines instead. Now, the drag system is something special. It yields up to 33 pounds of pressure, which is more than enough for landing a saltwater game fish. We wish for it to be a little smoother, but it is not a deal breaker. The Alajaz baitcasting reel comes with two different gear ratios, 5.9 and 8.1. One. The latter is better for working fast moving lures such as buzz baits. Both models come with the same eight magnet braking system that greatly reduces backlashes. The number six position is dominated by Daewa Coastal TW baitcasting reel. Small but powerful. The Daewa Coastal TW is an amazing baitcasting reel for intra fishing. The aluminum frame boasts an anodized coating that protects it from salt water. Plus, the sealed ball bearings won't let water inside, keeping the reel smooth at all times. The thing that we loved the most about the Coastal TW was its handle. It is large, with comfy grips. The 100 aluminum handle increases torque, thus decreasing the effort needed to reel a big fish. Line capacity is nothing impressive. It holds up to 165 yards of a 10-pound test monofilament line. But the good news is that you can enjoy a 32.2 IPT with a 7.3, one gear ratio. Thus, you can quickly work your lure along the shoreline. The carbon and stainless steel drag washer yield up to 15.4 pounds of stopping power. Yes, it sits on the lower side, but it is buttery smooth. It applies constant pressure on the line, minimizing snapping chances. Moving on to the next at number seven with Lou's custom inshore speed bait casting reel. The Luz Custom Inshore Bait Casting Reel boasts a double anodized aluminum core. Thus, it has no problem handling corrosion. The same goes for the deep, U-shaped spool, which can handle up to 120 yards of 12-pound test monofilament. As soon as you look at the custom, you will notice the speed dial. You can identify the line pound and type you are currently using, thus allowing the reel to modify internal settings accordingly. The Loose Custom Inshore Bait Casting Reel uses a multi-setting brake system. It uses both a magnetic brake and four disengaging internal brakes. You can control the first one with the external click dial. While the latter controls by itself, we find CNC machinery and brass gears inside, while 10 double shielded ball bearings keep everything running swiftly. The carbon drag washers yield up to 20 pounds of drag. It is not the highest here, but it has plenty of power for most applications. Besides, with a 30 IPT and 7.5, one gear ratio, the custom is more suitable for medium-sized fish. The number eight position is held by Pisifun Chaos Excess Saltwater Round Bait Casting Reel. The Chaos Excess Saltwater Bait Casting Reel features an all-metallic body with anodized treatment. The frame is strong enough to handle the pull of muskies, pikes, and base. The CNC aluminum spool holds up to 305 yards of a 15-pound monofilament line. It is more than enough line for trawling and surf fishing alike. Additionally, the carbon and steel drag offers up to 22 pounds of drag. It should be enough for a wide range of applications. One thing, though, the drag washers don't operate as smoothly as they should. So, don't exaggerate by setting it too high. On the inside, we have six shielded ball bearings. They all are resistant to corrosion. So, you will face no trouble while using them for saltwater angling. The level wind was the thing we liked the most. It distributes the line evenly around the spool as you reel the line, then it takes the line out progressively as you cast, thus minimizing line twist, which in turn increases casting distance. All three models come with the same IPT and gear ratio. Maximum drag, weight, and line capacity are the only things that change between models. Next at number nine, we have Abu Garsha Revoke Toro Low Profile Baitcasting Reel. 
If you are not willing to pay top dollar for a saltwater bait casting reel, then you should look away. The Abu Garsha Revotoro retails were around 400 bucks, making it the most expensive option until now. You get all the good stuff, of course. Let's start with the X2 Crafted Proprietary Frame. It is light yet strong to hold even the toughest of fish. On the other hand, the oversized aluminum handle makes things easier when reeling a monster. The five stainless steel ball bearings provide a frictionless experience. They are also resistant to corrosion, so don't worry about them either. The carbon drag matrix yields 25 pounds of buttery smooth drag. We were very impressed by it given the size of the Abu Garsha. The Dory jars and clutch grant a much more efficient way of using power, thus minimizing the amount of effort you have to make. The only thing we didn't like, apart from the hefty price, was the reed foot. It is not as strong as the rest of the reel, so make sure to attach it right to avoid bending it. Finally, the number 10 position is dominated by Shimano Kirado K Baycast reel. The first one that you may be interested in and worth considering is the Shimano Kirado K. This is widely known for its strength and durability, requiring little maintenance for a long time. No wonder why it is definitely a good idea for long fishing sessions. It is extremely hard wearing, thanks to the aluminum and graphite construction. Anyway, reels should be able to withstand the wear and tear of your fishing activities no matter how long they take. And this can do just that. The design is very rigid and lightweight, so you won't even notice the added weight when using it. Although it's popularly known for use in salt water, it can also be used in freshwater. Much more, for greater corrosion resistance, the ball bearings are made out of stainless steel. Incorporated with the latest technology, this reel is made with a super smooth and tough micro-module gearing. The infinity braking system it comes with makes it easy to use and provides stable brake force and uniform spool control. All of these features ensure precise casting of light bait and allow the right adjustments when switching baits. As for drag power, it's a little lower when compared to others on this. You will be happy to know this isn't the case with this one. Its price tag is pretty reasonable, taking into consideration the features it has to offer. If the above mentioned features tick all the things on your list, then choosing this may be worth it. That's all for today. We upload fishing product review videos every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.